Hey, good morning. It is Wednesday, the 21st of December, uh, 2022. Uh, cold outside. It's uh, six degrees out this morning. Uh, I think that's the coldest we temperature we've had so far this year or this winter. Uh, looks like uh, going to be about 33 degrees today, so it's not going to be too bad. 33 tomorrow with uh, snow tomorrow afternoon. Uh, it looks like it could start off as a little bit of rain, but but uh, we'll see. Uh, I have a high wind warning up for tomorrow afternoon and, and uh, into tomorrow night. Uh, the barometric pressure is going to drop drastically throughout the day on Friday. So a lot of a lot of interesting things are going to happen on Friday. Uh, we get uh, up to 60 mile an hour gusts, so uh, that's something we're going to have to watch for. Uh, but Thursday we're supposed to get four, four a little four, over four inches of snow, um, which, by the way, is really good before the rain. Uh, the snow will, the rain will come down and go into the snow, and make the snow crusty before before. The, uh, the the cold temperatures come in, so you actually have uh, you actually will get traction out of it because of the way that it freezes. If you just had a clean surface, that rain come down, made everything, and then it got cold, boom, you made it, you made an ice ice skated rink, and we don't want an ice skated rink, we want traction. Uh, been in. Uh, right now we're running at uh, 538 kilowatts. We just went up a little. Um, we're not we're not quite running uh, we're not quite running at 50 percent right now, uh, and that's just because the rivers down are coming down. Uh, things things change, and that's what happens. Uh, it is it is one of those days where it is just chilly outside. Um, I think uh, I've got I've got today I've got to uh, meet up with the guy we're putting in the uh, finishing up the uh, the charging station for his uh, electric vehicle. Uh, I've got everything ran the, the outlets in. I just basically hang the unit on the wall, uh, and I, I don't even know what <laughs> we started out. And he said. Here's the here's the here's the uh, installation manual, and he emailed it to me. So I built everything to that installation manual. Manual, and Monday he told me, or Saturday he told me, oh, by the way, we're not we didn't buy that one. So um, we'll find out. I don't know what we're going to end up with. It, it, it was built to his his standards, and you know, uh, I did a I did a good job. We put the wall the wire in the wall. I fished the wall. Uh, it, it, it mounted the box. Uh, the box is mounted exterior, but the wire comes down, so you don't see the wire. Uh, and if that's not correct, don't know what he's going to do. It's not really my problem at that point. Uh, I guess it could be my problem because I had to fix it, but uh, it is what he what he wanted. You send me you send me the wrong uh, installation guide, and it'll be wrong. <laughs> but uh, yeah, we've got this. Uh, we got a high wind warning. That high wind warning uh, up for, uh, for basically Thursday night into Friday. Uh, it, it claims that uh, we have could have gusts up to 60 mile an hour. Uh, I did see earlier this morning that it said something about a uh, uh, historic, once in a generation storm. Uh, what does that mean? I have no clue. Uh, I mean, I've seen once in a generation storms already. Some of them are, are phenomenal. Some of them are like, eh, uh, you know, okay, wind blew, tree fell down. 
Uh, the, the problem is going to be uh, if the power goes out and the, no, and the amount of time that the power is out, that's going to be the issue. Uh, hopefully we get things si situated uh, and, and they're all tended to and taken care of. Uh, yesterday, uh, I got a call yesterday morning from from the lady with the generator that has the fuel problem. And I went out, reset it, did the same thing I usually do, tap on the regulator, thing runs. Uh, and I told her, I said, uh, there's not a lot I can do because it's a fuel issue. It's not an issue with me. Uh, she said, well, when are they coming? Up? I don't I don't set their schedule. So uh, fortunately, I was on my way back and I saw them, so I stopped and I talked to, uh, to one of the techs, or the, the senior tech, <coughs> who I had talked to earlier, and he said, well, I'm here, I'll just run out there and see what's going on, and it sounds like, he said, something's going on with the regulator, so we'll just check it out. So, hopefully that's taken care of, uh, because I don't want to have to run out there at midnight, two o'clock in the morning, because the power went out. Uh, in which I would, but she's going to pay for that. Uh, you know, because it's just, uh, there's nothing I can do. It's not my fault. Uh, anyhow, um, so that was that yesterday. That's all, that's basically what I got accomplished yesterday. Wow! I, I did go down and, uh, I picked up some uh, uh, wood chips to put in the uh, the chicken coop, some pine, some pine shavings. Got that in there. Got a couple bags of pellets, chicken pellets. So I fed, so I, I got them in the, in the, the trash can I keep them in. Uh, I'm, I'm trying to get ahead and be pre prepared for uh, the ablation next week in case something goes wrong and I end up staying a couple more days in the hospital. Uh, at least the feed is done. The, it's in there. It's ready to go. Right now, they're not eating much. Uh, of course, the flock is down. Uh, you know, so that helps. Uh, the turkeys ate a lot of a lot of feed. Uh, so, when the, you know, they they consumed quite a bit. And uh, you know, they're, since they're gone, the, the feed's gone down. Um, and uh, which is, you know, it's a good thing, but the, the turkey was fantastic, simply fantastic. Um, I'll probably get that out. I'll probably get that out. Uh, some friends are up from Minnesota. Uh, they're going to be here for uh, a couple months, actually. And uh, they're not with me. They're, they're, they're not his house. But uh, we'll probably get together and have a turkey dinner and, and, and do the fixes uh, just because we have the turkey by it as well um, probably just take it Saturday and, and say we're gonna do it this day and uh, we can eat that turkey up and uh, everybody be happy and they can ha they can enjoy some of it uh, anyways uh, I, I pulled up the The high wind watch, the weather alert. Uh, south southeast winds, 20 to 30 mile an hour gusts up to 60 mile an hour possible. Uh, it's going to be from late Thursday night through Friday afternoon. Impacts, damaging winds could blow down trees, power lines, widespread power outages are possible. Travel could be difficult, especially with high profile vehicles. Which. Uh, we generally don't see gusts up to 60 because we got so many trees and mountains. So it's more in the open areas, uh, you know, where they they've got. A, a, there, there is over towards uh, over towards the east, to the west side of the of the uh, county. There is some of that out there, uh, some open fields and stuff, uh, more pasture land. Let's uh, 
Who else has to get out there? You can take a look to see what's going on. Cool, Chris. Yesterday you watched, <laughs> it's like, clean this up a little bit. You didn't get a very good shot of it, but you got it. I put you on top of the car and, and, and held it there, and you could watch me go back and forth around it. But I cleaned all the way up to the uh, to the meter shed. Uh, I did not do the hill. I don't think we need to do it yet. Even though we had the uh, about two foot of snow, it seems to be dropping fairly quickly. So, which is good. I like it when it does that. But you can see we got some ice forming on the uh, on the river. Swing you around there. Look up upstream there a little bit. It's trying to. It, this time of year, it's difficult to get you a real good look at the uh, at the waterfall. But I'm trying to get you a look at that because the water still goes, still falls, goes over the waterfalls. Maybe I can swing you around here, and you can see. Yeah, you can see some of it. That's about where the water normally, the water level normally is. Uh, and we still are running pretty good. So, you know, we've got, we got decent, uh, we got decent flow. Chickens are happy. Uh, I put the, uh, I put the heated waterer in. Uh, that makes them a lot happier. They can they can stay a little bit more uh, hydrated that way. Doesn't freeze up as fast. Well, it, it shouldn't freeze up at all in the, the water, but it will. I can't really get too. Yeah, maybe and I maybe I can get up here. Difficult in the. Uh, under the uh, the canopy because you don't know where anything is anymore but uh, you can you can see the waterfall the water flowing over there let's see one one tree if i take that one tree out come spring <laughs> it'll be it'll be better it'll be difficult to get that one tree up because it goes down there but i can get i can cut some of them limbs off we get you down a little lower you can see the the water is uh freezing up in the in the pond below. <clears throat> I don't know what you would call that, but I just call it a, uh, a pond because it's, it pounds up there. I don't know what the technical term for a body of water below a, a dam is, but or below a waterfall, but we, we can, uh, I guess we can look it up and find out. We have Google. <laughs> Anyways, making my way back. It's still pretty difficult walking and you know it's it's not quite knee deep, but it's uh, up to your shins. You can see I put the trailer over next to the propane tank. Got it out of my way.
here's one of the uh, this right here where the the, the dirt is pulled up uh, when I was plowing yesterday I hit that and it, it, it peeled it right up what that means is that there's there's not much frost in the ground and probably with the snow cover as long as we have the snow pack we're not going to get much frost which is good and bad uh why do i say good and bad well it's it's good that the the, the it's blanketing everything wells won't when the water lines don't freeze up as often uh, sewer lines don't freeze septic septic uh, uh, leach fields don't freeze up everything seems to still work the bad part of that is uh, when you're plowing you get off you can still tear things up tear up the yards because the frost isn't there on the other end of that when when the when the spring comes uh, it'll be a quick a quick uh, spring uh, meaning that we, we here we post the roads uh, for weight uh, as the frost comes out of the ground once the snow starts to melt uh, and that could take you know five six weeks without the heavy frost in the ground we're gonna just be quick so or it could be a muddy, muddy mess. So <laughs> you can see the, the the stone down there in the river. It's it's sticking up. But even even the other two little ones are sticking up. So you know we're down to where we sh we should be. Tractor ran great yesterday. I was really happy with it. A little little frosty this morning, but I wish I had a shed or something to put it in. Uh, I don't, so I could build one. Uh, <laughs> but I don't know if I will. So I would like the company to build one, and I'd like to actually add on to the side of the building here and put a garage in where the tractor could sit inside, and I could use this for storage space in here also. Uh, maybe one day. I doubt it'll ever happen, though. Uh. It would, it would, it would have to be uh, one of those fluke things. <laughs> uh, <clears throat> then we'd have to put a back door on to go outside. Would be nice. Anyhow, that is about everything that I've got for you today. Uh, I got to meet the guy. Wow, between 8 and 8.30 to put that thing in, so it's going to be an early day. Uh, generally, I don't get out of here until about 8.15, 8.30, so got to run, got to get things done. I will talk to you later.